Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new documentary, The Unabridged Mrs. Vera's Daybook. And this documentary is directed by Robert James and focuses on the story of activism, art, and love involving David Falk and Michael Johnstone of San Francisco, two men who have been working and connected with each other for years. And this documentary, just about 80 minutes, doesn't dive super, super deep, doesn't do anything in terms of trying to make this a big, sprawling experience. It gets to the point and helps us really connect with these two men who have such a strong passion for activism and representation, and you see that through their art, through their performances. This film highlights like the positives and the experiences of drag queens, and I think that's a nice thing, especially in this time where there's culture wars everywhere and hate-fueled actions of a lot of government bodies. And I think this film does a nice job of capturing like what the meaning of it is and what the purpose is and what it can do to fulfill someone. And I think that it does that with all the art that it focuses on in this film. And I think we the film does a great job of capturing who Falk is and who Johnstone is and their friendship, their connection, and really how much these two have in common and this strong connection that they've had for years. And it deals with AIDS and the AIDS epidemic. And I think the film does a good job of showing that, but then not allowing that to become like defining what this film is because this film isn't specifically about that. But it is such an important part of both of their experiences as they've been living with AIDS for decades at this point. I think the film, you can tell like this isn't like a big budgeted documentary, but it's something that has some personality, has some passion to it, and really cares about its subjects and spends the time for us to really connect with them and understand them in an intimate way. And this film really captures the impact of queer art community and all these different kinds of things, all leading up to focusing on like San Francisco Pride in 2019. And, you know, this film balances all of those different aspects of both of these men's lives and has us connect with them and understand the significance of what they're they're doing, what they have done, and how they stay connected over all of these years. And I think this is a pretty moving and impactful little film that's certainly worth a watch, and I think more timelier than ever. But those are my thoughts on the uh, unabridged Mrs. Vera's Daybook. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.